Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to another video. So this video is going to be a kind of part two from my last video where I talked about my top seven most important nutrients when it comes to reducing inflammation in your skin. So I did mention in that video that there are so many different vitamins and nutrients that all contribute to healthy skin. So today I'm gonna to be talking about another topic of mine, which I've all of a sudden become very interested in now that I'm in my thirties, <laughs> and that is all about skin aging. So first of all, I do wanna mention that I don't think we should be afraid of aging. Everyone is going to age eventually. And I know that society does put a lot of pressure and especially on women to stay young and stay youthful when I think that's a bit of an uphill battle. I think rather than trying to stop aging altogether, we should be focusing and aiming for aging healthfully and gracefully. So today I wanna to be talking about the seven most important nutrients that you wanna be including in your diet if you want to make sure that you can slow down the signs of aging as much as humanly possible. And similar to my last video, at the end of this video, I am going to be making a meal that is gonna be absolutely packed with all the nutrients that I'm gonna be mentioning today. So stick around to the end of the video if you wanna see that, a very quick, simple, easy recipe. Anyone can make it, nothing complicated. Now, before we get started, I really appreciate it as always if you can hit the like button. It really helps to support my channel. If you wanna see more videos about skin, hair, or health, then I highly suggest that you subscribe. So there's two different ways that our skin ages. Firstly, there is intrinsic aging, which is essentially the chronological aging that happens throughout our bodies to all of our tissues and all of our organs. The second one is extrinsic aging, which happens as a result of external damage through pollution, through the sun, through poor diet and lifestyles. But the good news is that there are lots of things that we can be including in our diet that is going to slow down the intrinsic aging process as well as protect us from the extrinsic aging that happens as a result of just living our lives. Some of these nutrients and vitamins are actually things that you can be and should be applying topically. But for this video, I'm gonna be focusing specifically on these nutrients as part of your diet and I'll do a separate video and creams and topical ointments that you can be doing to slow down aging as well. And that brings us to the first nutrient on my list for fighting the signs of aging and that is vitamin C. So vitamin C is a really important anti-aging nutrient for two different reasons. So first of all, I wanna talk about vitamin C and its role in collagen production. So collagen is the main protein that makes up the structure of our skin and it sits in a very robust matrix formation inside our dermis. So as we get older, that collagen matrix does start to break down as well as there being less collagen formation, which is why we start to see wrinkles as well as skin sagging. So vitamin C is absolutely essential in the production of new collagen. And as we start to age, the content of vitamin C starts to diminish in our skin, which is why it is absolutely essential that we are getting lots of vitamin C through our diet. So the other thing about vitamin C, which makes it super important for anti-aging is that it is a very strong antioxidant against both pollution as well as sun damage. Now I did talk very briefly about what antioxidants are in my last video. I'll put a link up here if you want to go see that one. But essentially vitamin C has two major, major roles when it comes to protection from aging in both the collagen formation as well as the antioxidation. So vitamin C you can find quite abundantly in lots of fruit and vegetables. Um, I'll put a list for you up here so you can choose your favorite uh, sources of vitamin C. Just make sure you are getting lots and lots of this in your diet all the time. Now, like I did mention earlier in the video, it is also really important that you are including vitamin C as part of your anti-aging skincare routine, but I'm not gonna be talking about the me mechanisms of that because I think that that is a whole separate video, but I should mention that no matter how much vitamin C you ingest in your diet, not all of it does get absorbed and gets brought out into your skin. So like I said, really important to be putting it on your skin as well. So the next nutrient on my list is vitamin A or AKA retinol. So this is probably as well, something that I'm sure that you've heard of a lot when it comes to anti-aging skincare. But like I said, we're not gonna be focusing on skincare today. We're gonna be talking about anti-aging and nutrients from a dietary perspective. So vitamin A is really, really important for anti-aging, again, for two different reasons. So like vitamin C, vitamin A is a very powerful antioxidant, meaning it is going to protect us from the environment and from external damage but it also has a very important function in cell proliferation and differentiation, which is essentially production of new skin cells. So 
As we get older, this is another process that starts to slow down. We have much longer skin cycles, which means we just don't have as many kind of young, fresh skin cells at the surface of our skin. The main dietary source that we get um, of vitamin A is through something called beta carotene. So beta carotene is essentially a precursor of vitamin A. And we find this mostly in the form of carrots, sweet potatoes, and dark leafy greens. So I will put a list here of lots of vitamin A rich foods. So make sure you are getting lots of these in your diet is really going to help to keep your skin looking youthful as long as possible. So I did mention earlier in the video that the sun is responsible for 90% of extrinsic skin aging. So we want to be making sure that we are getting a lot of different nutrients in our diets that is going to help to protect us from the damage from the sun. So the first one I want to talk about in this group is lycopene. So lycopene is probably the strongest and most powerful antioxidant when it comes to sun damage. So lycopene is the red pigment that you will find in a lot of different fruits and vegetables. And there are a lot of different studies that have shown that if you are supplementing with lycopene or rather including lots of lycopene rich foods in your diet, then you can dramatically reduce the damage done through ultraviolet rays. Another related carotenoid to lycopene is something called lutein, which is more of a yellow pigment that you find in other fruits and vegetables. It is shown to be not quite as effective as lycopene, but still very effective and a very important nutrient that we should be including part of our diet. So of course it's really good if we can get lots of dietary protection from the sun through antioxidants and vitamins and things like that, but we should definitely still be wearing sunscreen every single day. So the diet doesn't replace the sunscreen definitely do still wear the sunscreen. So the next super important anti-aging nutrient that we want to be getting a lot of in our diet is good old protein. So our entire bodies, all our tissues and organs are all made up of protein and that includes our skin. So collagen, like I mentioned earlier, is the main protein that holds together our skin structure and specifically the two types of amino acids that make up collagen are lysine and proline. So we want to be making sure that we are getting a very protein rich diet to make sure that our collagen can continue to produce as we age. So I'm going to put a list of protein protein rich foods for you right here. You can get it obviously through animal sources as well as through plant sources. If you are getting um, your protein through plants, just make sure that you are getting a wide variety of different types of plant proteins so that you can get a complete set of all the different amino acids that you will need. So the next one on my list is something I talked about in my last video as well, as that is omega-3. So most people are deficient in omega-3. It is something that you find in oily fish as well as certain nuts and seeds, but it is super, super important to be getting lots of it in our diet as we age. So not only does it have an anti-inflammatory effect, but it's also very important in lipid production because as we get older, our skin does get drier. So it's very important to kind of get lots of moisture, make sure that our skin can replenish that moisture from the inside as well as from the outside. So the final anti-aging nutrient that I have included on my list, I've actually totally cheated because it's actually a group of eight different vitamins and that is the group of B vitamins. So B vitamins have a lot of different really important functions in our bodies as well as our skin. So it's really important that we are getting a lot of these in our diet. Some of the more important ones for specifically for anti-aging, I would like to mention is B3, which is niacinamide, B5, pentatheric acid, and also B9, which is folic acid. So you might have heard of some of these as well as ingredients in skincare. And that is because B vitamins are, have such an important role to play when it comes to healthy skin. They also help us to absorb other nutrients. So B vitamins are really, really key. You wanna be getting loads of them in your diet. So I'm gonna put a list for you up here of some vitamin B rich foods. I would like to mention that most people are actually deficient in B12 regardless of whether you're vegan or not. So you might wanna look into a supplement in B12. So that was my list of the seven most important nutrients that you wanna be including lots of in your diet if you wanna be slowing down the signs of aging. And with that said, I think it is now time to go make some dinner. What do you think?